good timing. I bet you can't wait for me to put this on. Oh my word, look at that. Oh, we have missed this so much. <laughs> Is it that bad? Welcome back to Bangkok. We are so excited to be back in Bangkok today. We are here for the next four or five days. My parents are actually visiting with one of my uncles. We decided to meet up. We're going to explore a little more, explore the town. It's been almost half a year since I've seen them. So yeah, really looking forward to just spending a bit of chill time with them and yeah, just looking around more in Thailand. And today we're actually going to the Grand Palace, which last time we had a look at from a distance, but we didn't actually go in. So today we're actually going to go in and see what's inside, which is quite exciting as well. Oh, that's a bit grim. Oh, nice. I really like the horrible things. <laughs> Just because I like an abandoned building. Oh, we've just got here and there's in the changing of the guards. It's good timing. They've said that Jacob can't wear shorts. We ruled this wrong because the lady at the train station said that we could, that he could wear the sarong. So we thought that to cover up his legs. But we've got here and they've now said that he needs to buy trousers. The funniest thing about this though is that Jacob always takes the mickey out of the elephant trousers and he's now got to buy some, which I am reveling in just a little bit. Got my elephant pants. Ah. This is just embarrassing. You love them though. You've always wanted some, haven't you? I bet you can't wait for me to put these on. Yeah. I'm loving it. These look ridiculous. I think maybe take your short. <laughs> I'm enjoying this far too much. I mean, the trainers really sort of set it off. normally me that has to cover up so I think it's really funny that I know. for once I'm okay. That's a buy it. Well Uncle Koi Lee bought them for it's 200 baht. I know. Yeah but, yeah, but look how stylish she looks. I know they do look good. They do don't they? It's a really sort of nice They're not look. even fitting. They fit perfect, mate. I think the trainers really set them off nicely. <laughs> so we've just got our tickets complimentary of Uncle Koili. We're heading into the Temple of the Emerald Buddha now. Oh, wow. So is this what the palace looked like before then? Oh, three brochures. I'll take one. As you can see on the paintings, we've just been told that the king was meant to be the highest person. So if anyone ever went and addressed him, you couldn't be higher than the king's head, which is why everyone here is crawling. And there's quite a popular video online about the Thai president or prime minister or something addressing the king. But as the king's seated, he has to then almost crawl on the floor to get through him. I love the detail on the soldiers though. It's amazing. Oh, you can't actually go inside there. I thought you could. It's, it's gated off. Look at this part of the palace. Just this alone. You can see each individual bit of glass and everything. It must have taken such a long time to decorate it all. Look at that. Oh my word. Everyone knows I love a good ceiling. <laughs> this is a good one. Yeah. Everyone's got to keep everyone together. 
So we're going into the temple of the Emerald Buddha. Oh, okay, no photos. So that was really nice. It's super ornate in there. You can't take any yeah, photos or video in it, which is a bit of a shame, but it's quite nice because it means that you have to come to experience it. In the actual temple there, it is beautiful. It's just so worth it. We overheard like a tour guide saying the surrounding mural is actually a story of the Buddhist life. So you can see it when it's an infant and then it kind of goes through life and then when it turns to the reclining Buddha. So this is that map as a whole. So we only visited that tiny section there, I think. So we've got all of this to visit. Here's the cafe. <laughs> oh my word, look at that. That is a very grand. You can see why it's called the Grand Palace, can't you? All the different layers of the temples though that you can see. Beautiful. We finally made it to the exit. I can finally get these things off of me. Rem Whatever. Return. You're loving it, really. No. <laughs> wanted them ever since we arrived in Asia. Now you finally got them. I guarantee he'll be wearing them again. That's not gonna happen. So this is a first. Thai tea soft serve. Look at that. Thank you. Oh, we have missed Thai tea so much. So something like this. Oh, it's perfect. So we're now on our way to Wat Arun. Oh, that looks like it's been hit so many times, it's almost crumbling. Nice. You can just about see the Royal Palace in the background as well, which is so nice. As I said earlier, there's just so many different layers. Every single angle that you look at, you can see like another little spy or another little pagoda. It's so intricate. Oh my word, look at this waterfall. You really do need to be here in person because the camera just doesn't do it justice. It's amazing. Big bit of lying down time. Oh my word. She's big. I mean, must be so difficult. Surely. Not like an Easter egg. It is an Easter egg, isn't it? I kind of want to touch it. You can see there's yeah. like a little worn bit on her elbow from where people have obviously touched it. I love her like cheeky, cheeky smile. Is that very. Like dreamy eyes. Yeah. Do you think this is bigger than the Big Buddha? Well, it's hard to say because she's laying down. I think she's longer. Do you? Mm, but I don't think she's as wide. Oh, maybe not. Look at the toes on her. You need some good old nail clippers for them. The fact that there's that much detail into the sole of the foot is crazy. I don't think you're allowed in there. I know you like a bit of Urbex, but... Oh, what's in it? But you said there might be some crisps. Sunset. We're now making our way over to Chinatown to grab a bit of food. Oh, we have missed this so much. Stewed pork leg with rice. It is absolutely incredible. So we're heading on a bit of a food tour. We have just had that braised pork leg. Oh, the dim sum has caught our attention, so I think we're gonna give this a try. We've also come some Chinese pork noodle soup, which has also got some Michelin stickers at the front. Oh, it's arrived. So it's rice noodle, which is rolled up. It's kind to a square and then rolled, but... I think it's how is it? Are you right? Is it that bad? It's got a Michelin star. It was really bad for it. And then the second spoonful. That was even more. Holy <laughs> oh my, oh my word. It's really nice, but it's really peppery. Oh my word, that just hits the back of your throat. I'm still recovering from that. That was absolutely mental. How, it wasn't like spicy, spicy. It was just burning, just completely burning. But it tasted really good. And we actually, I think it was stomach and tongue, which, it was actually pretty good. It's Emma's first time trying pomelo. It's kind of like a mix between grapes. Grapes? And grapefruit. 
I like that it's like all in these strands and you can just kind of pick each strand off. 